look at how beautiful this is. It's really like artwork. Kimasa, what brought you to Singapore? Was it love like me? Oh. <laughs> Kimasa, long time no see. Ah, Wrong to Wasashiri desu. Wasashiri desu. Good to see you again. I'm super excited today because I'm trying out your new sushi omakase restaurant, yes. Shinyasuke. Yes. And we'll also have a chat about your story, why you became a sushi chef in Singapore, yes. and your real impression of this country. Wow, this is so pretty. <laughs> what, what, what fish is this? Uh, this is the say the matsukawa kare. It's a say the English name the pine tree skin haribat. That skin is a, looks like pine tree skin. Okay, I have to ask you this. Why do we have two wet tissues? <laughs> I'm, I'm confused. This one is for the hygiene, so just like a wipe. Okay, so I can start using yes for the towel. This one is a finger wiper for the sushi. If you want to use the finger to the, eat the sushi, uh -huh. this one has a wipe. Then the catching the sushi. Oh, so you use this between like sushi? Yes, it's a good catching. Uh, clean also the little bit make wet, then uh -huh. like uh, easy to catch, not like a stick, become more sticky. Oh, okay, okay. Good. Before diving in, uh, what, what course are we having at Shinyasuke? Okay, so Shinyasuke is really focused on sushi. Is, uh, our course is really only sushi. We don't serve the, any other items. So this course is a 15 piece of the sushi. Oh, okay. serve. For lunch, you have your other food. Ah, yes, for maybe, lunch, yes. Maybe we can try later. Yes, sure. I, I can just use my hands. Oh, okay. Also, the, you can say the at first white. Okay. Then you said the correct is the tongue in front, like 90 degree. She just put it like this. It's tongue in front, and then catching to like the top and the bottom of the sushi part, this part. Uh huh. Because sushi is actually this side very fragile. Okay, okay. But it's at the top and the bottom is a bit more stronger, easy to catch. Then catch like this. Okay. Then automatically just bring to the mouth. Wow. This is so interesting. Okay, let me try. So I put it like this, then catch. Wow. I didn't know this. Perfect. Mmm. <laughs> it's so flavorful. <laughs> the, actually, the mm. white fish is a, have a lot of flavor. It's very, how say, it's a precise and also not so big taste, but have a fine flavor, fine umami, mm -hmm. and a fine sweetness. And the texture is so delicate too. Wow, that's so delicious. I also want to ask, is it okay to start eating the gari? Yes. Can? Gari is uh, like a refresher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, uh, every piece of the sushi is a different taste. So one piece of sushi eat, then like uh, one slice mm. of the ginger gari, then uh, listen to the mouse. Right. So then we uh, prepare the next piece of sushi. Oh, um, I have a question. Um, I'm a big fan of gari. Yes. So, what do you think if a customer like me start eating a lot of gari? <laughs> Honestly speaking, so we worry maybe getting hurt. <laughs> oh. too, too heaty. And right, right, the taste right. is very strong, right? By the way, if you guys are interested in visiting Shinyasuke, you are doing a our viewer exclusive promo, right? Yes, uh, we have the promo. If you said uh, I watched the Jigo Ojisan YouTube, uh, we will serve the free first drink, the beer or sake. Thank you. That sounds amazing. <laughs> so, how long have you been living in Singapore for? Already 11 years. Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. 11 years. Yeah. How's your life here? Do you like it? Yes, I really like it. Actually, mm. I love Singapore and Japan. Mm. Very suitable for me. Last time I was working in sushi restaurant in Japan, mm -hmm. right? Then how say my character is actually I talk too much. Yeah. Then my how say elder colleagues every time they can teach me so you talk too much. Don't talk. You shouldn't talk. You move the hand, your hand, you make it more. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I appeal too much in Japan. Okay. Yeah. But in Singapore. Uh, this way is a uh, customer is accept like right. more fun. They enjoy together. Yeah, it's like a feeling. Is in Japan, right. chef and customer distance is bit far. Yeah, this it, one is also one of the like, uh, Japanese traditional manner. Yeah, whenever I visit a sushi place, I feel like I shouldn't be talking to the mm, chef yeah. too much. Yeah, sometimes yeah, it's depend on like a master chef. Yeah, yeah. But it means that I want to like mm. concentrate to the about sushi more. Yeah, 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 yeah. But for you, you like talking <laughs> with the customers. 
I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a good match for you. So the I found the my wife in Singapore. Oh, okay. So my wife was from the not local from Hong Kong. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah you told me. Yeah, local. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How did you meet your wife? Can I? Oh. Can I ask? Actually, this is also a very shy story. Actually, she was a customer. Actually, this one also in Japan is very forbidden. It's we shouldn't. It's forbidden it's, love. Yeah, it's forbidden love. That's why it's more bad. <laughs> wow, that's amazing. Do you feel like in Singapore people are more casual towards the sushi chef? Uh yes, it's more more close. I mean, I talked to some sushi chefs, right? They say. In Japan, like you said, yeah. customers are a bit more distant. Yeah. But in Singapore, they will even buy sake for you, and yeah. you have to drink it. <laughs> is it is that thing? Mm, you? <laughs> it's very difficult. No, no, how to do? This one also has a, the world of the culture. Some of the place the chef drink. Some of the place it's a chef uh, never drink. Cannot. Yeah. Mm. It's also depend on the it's a master chef. Also depend on the business model as well. So this is the second sushi. What fish is this? Ah, we said that kue. Kue. Yes. Oh, it's my first time eating kue sushi. Oh really? No more in Japan. It's like hot pot, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Mostly like uh, it's cook, but cook, we, right? we choose like a fresh like a sushi grade, sashimi grade. Okay. Can eat the sushi as well. And you use um same sushi yes. as kimura sushi, which is like your main mission ah. awarded sushi restaurant, yes. right? Yes. Yes. It's most of the grade of the fish. And then the sushi rice and the wasabi is a vinegar. It's a this best item is all same as the sushi kimura. Okay, so same procedure. I put it like this. Yes, then touch the okay. top and bottom and just. You got it, guys. I don't want it to be gone. You know, I want to keep on biting forever yeah. because whenever you take a bite. The umami comes yes. out, right? Yeah. And, also, mm. uh, sorry, I have to say that um, Japanese people like this kind of texture very much, like a bit chewy, but we enjoy that chew. Mm. So, mm -hmm. hope Singapore people also can enjoy that this chew and can swallow it. Do some customers just swallow it? Ah, uh, <laughs> actually, the Singapore people don't like chew very much. It's oh, uh, this kind it? of texture. Uh, Last time, like 10 years ago, uh -huh. most of people really don't like this is the kind of chew, kind of swallow. Really? But recently, it's really changing. It's, uh, it's uh, people getting the light like, distinction. Speed question for mother-in-law. So now we're doing a speed question. Yes. So you cannot think. Okay. You have to answer <laughs> uh, immediately. Okay. I think we did it once at the okay, yeah, bar, but yeah. I have different set of questions. <laughs> Number one. What do you miss most about Japan, huh? Yeah, onsen. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we have onsen in Singapore. Onsen normal, right? It's nice. <laughs> it's just that uh, it's it's like thirty three degrees outside. <laughs> <laughs> Next one. What's your favorite sushi, huh? Favorite sushi is a uh, Thai. Thai. Why? It's a mm. uh, purely umami. Okay, this one's gonna be difficult. Uh, do you like Singapore girl or Japanese girl? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it's my mother-in-law. <laughs> okay, I like Singapore ladies. <laughs> hey, no, no, correct answer is Hong Kong lady. Ah, <laughs> oh, yes, it is. Your, your wife, <laughs> yeah, your wife. Yeah, I should say, yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite Singapore food, huh? Singapore chicken rice, because I can't take the spicy very much. <laughs> Which leads to the next question. Chili padi or wasabi, huh? Ah, uh, wasabi. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chili padi is too spicy. Yeah. <laughs> I also wanted to ask, do you serve different kind of sushi to yes. Singaporeans. Yes. I, I assume like, you know, we have different taste buds, right? Yes. For example, the Japanese, yes. like you said, Japanese. we like the clean, the chewy fish, yes. but Singapore, I, I I have the feeling that they love more strong flavor. Mm. Now it is. Do you do something to cater towards like the locals? In Singapore, I'm doing a bit more stronger. Right, right. But also, uh, this area people is like a bit sweeter. But yeah. this one, honestly, I don't like sweet very much. Uh, I think I purposely leave it, uh, cut the sweet mess. So some parts you localize, some part you don't. Yes. Ah, by the way, so this is uh, mm. our signature. Oh. It's a uh, marinated tuna. Zukemaguro. Yes, zukemaguro. Oh, I love zukemaguro. Okay, I'll try the gari first. Two. We set. <laughs> Look at how beautiful this is. It's really like artwork, you know? It is. 
The user. It's, it's very good. This combination mm. is very important. I like this both oh. so far. The texture, the flavor, very robust, yet you taste the fish. Yes. Yeah, again, so wow. sometimes the, our customers say, I don't like the tuna. Mm. Maybe they eat like, uh, it's not, how say, it's a medium grade, it's a bit different grade, you know, like the decoros, long green. Right, right, right. Then the texture is not good. But even the, if customers say, I don't like, but it's supposed to stop. Because you are serving the good quality. Yes. Also, the flavor is different. And then, after that, the customer eat. Yeah. Wow, what different, different. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I can totally understand. Some people, they try like the bad uni. Yeah, I guess it is. Yeah, good. it's so different. You know, the bad uni versus like uni at Shinyasuke. It's like so different. Yeah, yeah, it's a way people judge yeah. that uni is so fishy and yes. oceany, but they don't know the real yes, flavor. Is. So we want to introduce it to Mitsubishi Japan. How long have you trained in Japan for? Train the total is 15 years. 15 years. Is it true that in Japan, your first year you cannot even make your sushi? You, ha you have to start from dishwashing, cleaning. Yeah. Is, that, is that true? Is uh, that what you went through? Because in my age, yes. Right. Like the, my age, the like, really changing. Our elder colleagues is uh, this, exactly this way. Mm -hmm. it's sometimes like a bit violence. Then violence. <laughs> <laughs> only teach us like how to wash dish, how to delivery. Right. Our first work like a washing and deliveries. Also take care of the floor side. At first we take care like a staff meal. Staff meal, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Then this staff meal is uh, our elder colleagues is other it's okay. This one like uh, mm. great, it's okay, great. Then finally we can touch the like uh, customers' ingredients. Right. So there's a very long and particular <laughs> procedure. <laughs> our age. What, was it tough? Uh, it was tough, but also the fun. But for my story, I don't want to back. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one. I the whole boat. Hobo. Oh, what kind of interesting fish? It's what kind of fish is it? English name the sea robin. Sea robin. It's R O B I N. It's a beautiful fin and also the cute face. Cute face. <laughs> yes. I, I heard a uh, sushi with a uh, fish with ugly face is the nicest, but this one's ah, yeah, this one cute, cute, cute and, and nice. And uh, the beautiful fin. <laughs> but it tastes also very hey. my favorite fish. Oh, yummy! I like how your restaurant is very um, more on the high end side, yeah. but you smile like everyone's welcome. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? And Shin Yasuke yes. also has a very modern, very um, yeah. humble, yeah. nice vibe. Because uh, here, so why I open here, so I want to enjoy the sushi more okay. uh, light, how say, lightly, kirakuni Right, 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 right. Also, the, I want to teach the, our skill for the local chef. Yeah, you, you hire mainly local chefs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're doing a great job, right? Yeah, this great job. Actually, it's a, how say, also the, it's a passion. It's even the, like uh, recently the, in Japan, Japanese chef also don't have the, this kind of passion. Sometimes oh. we can find the better, has a better skill, better, has a passion to the sushi, better than Japan. This one, how do you prepare? Uh, aburi, it's, right? It's aburi. Yeah. It's skin part. It's like this kind of fish. The skin part have a lot of umami, mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. it's just uh, low. It's very chew. This has a uh, two ways. One is uh, aburi like this mm -hmm. for the skin part. Mm. Then the other way is uh, like a uh, uh, flushed, uh, very hot water. Mm. <laughs> Cannot say. <laughs> Too mm. tasty. Very flavorful fish. When the aburi is a flavor also come up. Kimura-san, what brought you to Singapore? I know you became a sushi chef in Japan, right? Mm -hmm. Then what brought you to Singapore? Was it love like me? Originally, it's uh, here. I saw just one year. It's come to the set up the new sushi restaurant. Is it a sushi kimura? Ah, no sushi oh, okay, okay. It's actually the sushi ichi. Okay. Yeah. Then it's I saw the just one year that I work in Japan, then I opened my sushi restaurant in Japan. In Japan, okay. Yeah. But when I come here, I thought the overseas is uh, cannot use a uh, nice fish. Yeah. And the customer is a bit funny. <laughs> funny. <laughs> but actually when I come to Singapore, then mm. I realize it's uh, uh, ingredients 
we can get actually sometimes much better than the Tokyo market. Is it? Uh, yes, because uh, Singapore have uh, many routes by the air flight. Right. Like for uh, example, of course, uh, from uh, Tokyo market to Singapore the air flight just overnight. Oh, okay. Then, but it's a uh, Kyushu and the Hokkaido also have a direct flight. Mm. So means. Hokkaido item, Kyushu item, also just next day arriving in the Singapore. Oh. So we can get the more local fish and like a much fresh than the Tokyo market. Interesting, interesting. When you first opened your sushi restaurant in Singapore, did you think there's more potential to it? Like, is that why you uh, chose Singapore? Or? Yes, because uh, I feel when I came to Singapore, mm. I feel this sushi situation is like 10 years ago in Japan. This one, is it foie gras on the top? Ah, like a fish foie gras. Fish foie gras? Yes. Oh, and on the ikka. Ah, this is like it's a kawahagi. Kawahagi? Yeah, it's a oh, leather jacket fish. Oh, interesting. Wow, <laughs> never had such thing. What the top is that? Exactly that, that this fish is a bigger. Oh, interesting. Wow. Yeah, flavor. Mm. This fish, the wow. fish liver, especially fish liver, is really everybody like. It's so flavorful. Yeah. Kind of tastes like foie gras. We try it mm. exactly. But this fish is a uh, good video. Is the winter bit when getting cold, mm -hmm. the other liver is getting more fat. Right, because more tasty. Yeah. Wow, this looks beautiful, Kimura san. Chutoro. Wow. Hmm. Wow. So where is your uh, maguro from? Uh, this one, uh, honestly, it's from Ireland. Ireland? Yes. Uh, Ireland tuna. Why? Uh, because uh, how say it? The tuna is basically is uh, in Japan. Japan side tuna is rely on the season. Uh, and also the oh. tuna taste rely on the size. How big? Okay. Last time in Japan, so we can catch like a 400 kg, mm. average 300 kg of bluefin tuna, and especially the winter time. I think everybody knows the Oma. It's yeah, like Oma. Oma the brand. Yeah, the biggest brand. Recently, the tuna is like getting smaller than smaller. Right. Like average maybe 100 kg plus. So, are you saying last time Oma Maguro was like very nice, very consistent, yes, but yes. recently? It's not really consistent. It's yes. not the best choice for yeah, you. Uh, yes. That's why you use the yeah, uh, Ireland. Yes. Ireland ones are still can find really all the white, oh, then all the bigger. Oh, I, because I thought Oma should be the <laughs> best one. And when I heard you say you say you use Ireland, I'm yeah. like, oh, okay. Kore wa aji desu. Aji. And you put uh, what? Do, what's on the top? On the top is a uh, uh, white leek and ginger. Oh, oh, interesting. And I noticed um, you don't have a soy sauce plate. Ah, Why this, is that? Is there a different one, style? This style of the sushi is already ready to eat. Customer right. nothing to do, so like apply the soy sauce. It's really just eat. If I'm not wrong, this is called the Edo Mai. Ah, Edo Mai style. Okay, yeah. so it became popular in Edo, which yeah. is Tokyo. Yes. Long time ago, because that time there was no refrigerator. Yes. So they learned this way to prepare sushi yeah. and it's able to uh, preserve longer. Preserve yes. Yes. Wow. That's chewy. Yeah. Then the white one. Since you live in Singapore for eleven years, can I ask like mm -hmm. what you like and don't like about you think you like it more than Japan? Yes. <laughs> it's uh, because why it's a better. Okay. Yeah, I really don't like the cold. I agree. <laughs> yes. And then also the how say for the food, we can find the Nice food. So it is really like a all mm. from all over the world. Yeah. Here it's a really can find easy. For the people it's more friendly. It's more relaxed. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, I think the best. It, even the in the work, my like personal life is really is more relaxed. More yeah. I enjoy. I totally agree. Okay. So, this Sawara. And this one I I guess you agree too. Yes, agree too. Wow. Never have. This. The sweetness from the mito. Wow, it's fatty. Mm, I love the fat. <laughs> I'm guessing this is otoro. Yes. 
then special part today is a uh, special for you. Oh, it's a uh, near the cheek. It's usually we say the kama kama shita. It's a uh, cheek below like marble part. Is it still called otoro? As uh, otoro, especially we say the shimofuri or something. Oh, we say the like, kama toro. It's not the stomach. Yes, it's uh, for the like uh, near the cheek. And is it uh, more fatty? More fine fatty. Wow, yeah, texture is very different. And you aburi it, so it's even more yeah. like fatty and aromatic, yes. right? Whoa, look at it. Just glittering like a stars. Everybody will love that. Mm. Just so fatty, sweet. Yeah. Wow, amazing. So, what's this beautiful fish? Uh, this one is actually squid. Squid. It's a layer cut squid. Oh, layer. Yeah, it's so interesting how yeah. Chef Adam prepared it for us. So I, I thought I first thought he was just taking off the skin, <laughs> but he was actually kind of peeling the yes. meat, right? It's very interesting. Because uh, this ikate fish is a bit chewy, very chewy. Mm -hmm. And originally this squid is very sweet, like right. uh, add sugar. Okay. Well, actually, it's a natural taste. Oh. Then. How to make is most sweet. Then uh, this layer cut mm. is a uh, how say uh, the cell is the break. Then yeah. easy to feel it on the tongue the sweetness. Oh, and you told me it's scientifically scientifically backed up. Yeah, right? it's actually, this way. Yeah. It's in Japan, the, some of the crazy chef, uh, sorry, I could say crazy chef, <laughs> is they use the how say it's a microscope. Yeah. Then check the like cell how this cell is how which architect then which way to cut the most like a feel umami. That's space. insane. Scientifically okay. backed yeah. up. This is called King of the Squid. This is just insanely sweet. And just, mm, the most texture sweet. is like it melts. Yeah. Mm, wow, Kimura-san, what was the biggest culture shock you had in Singapore? For me, it was um, I was amazed how people will just leave on time. I used to work at the office, right? Oh, at yeah. 5 p.m., people would just straight off go. <laughs> I didn't see that in Japan when I used to work back in Japan. What was something for you? For me, in the especially in the restaurant work, like uh, in Singapore, we really divide it's part by part. Mm. In Japan, the sushi chef really take care mm. of everything. I was surprising is I helped uh, like the dishwasher. Then dishwasher said, "This is my job. You shouldn't <laughs> touch this kind of culture." Yeah, really surprise. Yeah, in Japan, even for office, right? Yeah. I used to do some of my clean, mm -hmm. you know. But in I guess in Singapore, we people hire cleaners, yeah. and that's their job. Mm. Wow. Oh, I mean. Botan Ebi. Oh, it's beautiful. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Mm. Oh, wow. Amazing plump texture and sweetness. Yeah. Okay, now actually we are hiring the Singaporean sushi chef. So, oh, okay. Yeah. Actually, we really discussed the, uh, how say, is this question. Mm -hmm. Especially the, if you want to learn the, like a real sushi technique, the real ingredients, it's please come to the, my place. Yeah, right? Kimura-san is one of the best sushi chefs in Singapore, if not the whole world. So, that will be a good opportunity. I teach everything. Oh, like this? This one? Whoa. This one is sushi kimura style. Yeah, yeah, I had this at your place. There's like three layers of uni. Same she meat. Uh, which uni do you use? I use this bakuno, mm. short spine. Hokkaido short spine. Mm. <laughs> Just a burst of flavor, sweetness, umami. Mm. And the seaweed, I feel like it's more, it's it's very aromatic. Yeah. Do you use a special type of seaweed too? After this one, my like order made. Order made. So you use the same one as Kimura sushi, right? Yeah, same. This oh, okay, okay. I order the raw only use the first harvest of the shimmy mm -hmm. and then the double thickness. This one's hand to hand style too. Oh, ho, 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 ho. It's so fat. I'm actually going to just like. Wow. Is this also from Hokkaido? Yes, Hokkaido Oscara and then also the Kumamoto Shimmy. Kumamoto Shimmy. Yes, they met in the Singapore from the north of South Japan. Met in the Singapore. It's, it's, uh, it's lovely. Which is 
very fat, mean, chunky, almost meaty. Yeah, you know, Yuzu Yeah, I knew it. There, there is some spice in it. They put yuzu kosho. Oh, very nice. Very flavorful. Torotaku. Oh, beautiful. So there's a takuan and negito. Yes. Is there a rule like we have to eat it in one bite? <laughs> no. Just seeing the chunk bite. Mmm. Wow. Really out of this world. After the miso soup and our dessert, finished. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> like, thank you so much. I, I really enjoyed it. I think my viewers will enjoy it too. And you also have like a lunch only menu, right? Yes, the special chirashi, but it's a kisanga, it's really limited. It's a daily only four, four sets. Only four sets. And you can book the chirashi, so I'll have the link in the description box. All right, so that was our meal at Shin Yasuke. Again, I have the link, the reservation link in the description box below. And if you mention my name, you'll get a free drink. So the TMC also in the description box below. Thank you Shin Yasuke for sponsoring this video and I'll see you guys again. Bye bye.